lovely setting for you for our football today. It's the Mestalla Stadium in Valencia. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. The game has all the elements really to excite us and I'm sure it will live up to the billing. It's Valencia against West Ham United. Yeah, thanks Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first 10 minutes how these teams approach the task. Well, a couple of star names that we're looking at today. What do you think, Alan? Well, we've earmarked these two because they have been in fantastic form this season. It's been a pleasure to watch them. Valencia will go with this team today. In goal today is Jaume. Ezekiel Garay starts with Gabriel at the back. Parejo plays with Francis Coquelin in central midfield. Rodrigo starts with Maxi Gomez in attack. West Ham United's lineup is this. Lucas Fabianski plays in goal. Issa Diop plays with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. And here is just the one main attacker in this lineup. And it's Valencia getting this first half underway. Gomez. Rodrigo. Men in there to try to convert this cross. Break quickly when they get possession. Fredericks. Robert Snodgrass. Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. Gets his cross in. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Costly loss of possession, maybe here. Francis Coquelin, Florenzi. West Ham always associated with what is guided through. In with a chance. Hit the post. Angelo Ogbonna. Mark Noble. It's good work, this, as they chase a go-ahead goal. Slip past his marker. Should really deliver from this position with the defender in the way. And it is a goal kick. What's the keeper doing here? Oh, it's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. game that they have absolutely dominated very good play defense opened up again but the difference is this time that they put the ball past the goalkeeper good finish and they're looking a very classy side at the moment West Ham with this advantage Coquelin Danny Parejo the build up is patient. Robert Snodgrass stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. It's good attacking play, this from them. Not too much time for extra touches here. Well, they've made the defenders turn here with that pass. The break is definitely on. That's it! Tried for his second goal of the game, thwarted by the keeper this time. Yeah, and that's a good stop. He stayed on his toes. Good reactions. In from Snodgrass. It's in! Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. 
Well, I suspect this may have been a set-piece routine worked on the training ground. Worked perfectly here, that's for certain. Restarting at 2-0. Kokola. Gomez. Good vision. Here's a chance. Was a chance maybe to hit the target. He certainly went for strength. Nothing wrong with the connection either. Yeah, the Hammers struggling to get a foot on the ball. But what you would say about this team is the way that they've used the possession so ruthlessly at times it's been a joy to watch textbook stuff from them and the referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside the yellow cards coming out he knew it was a booking and now he's shown him the yellow it was one of those was on the borderline i think he's a bit unlucky perhaps to get booked for that rodrigo gomez gives it away straight to the opposition Robert Snodgrass, Noble. On the attack here, time to get the ball in. I think he saved them there with that interception. Gomez. Noble. Fredericks. Crowd uh, may be expected a bit more, but it's two added minutes. Well, there's plenty of width here for West Ham. Robert Snodgrass. I think the cross is on. But he clears the danger. And there goes the whistle for half time. And the scoreline is 2 0. What a good player we knew he was before the game started. He's just emphasised that in this performance. He's got that ability to find space within shooting distance and he's done it really well today and, and found the back of the net too. Referee just checking everything is in order and he blows for the second half to start. Lanzini Felipe Anderson Room now out of the wing Probing away, working away at the opposition with these passes Gomez Trying too hard really and losing the ball because of it Fredericks, Issa Diop, neatly intercepted. Rodrigo. Danny Parejo. Florenzi. A chance to cut the deficit here. Great stop. Short corner designed to move the opposition around in the middle. Across dealt with by the defender. Garay. Good tackle. Fredericks. No one's picking him up in the wide area. This could be dangerous. Lanzini. Robert Snodgrass. Well, space to get the cross in. Good block, but a poor cross. Halle. Gomez.
Danny Parejo. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. Kidding themselves, really, with this passing because they're not challenging the opposition as the scoreline shows. Ooh, that's a dangerous move, sliding for the ball in the box like that. Well defended, not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Rodrigo. Rodrigo! That's an important goal, isn't it? It's brought the match back into sharper relief, really. The contest is very much on again. The deficit is down to one. And there's still opportunities for them to make even further inroads into the scoreline. Off we go again, 2-1. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. And the winger now takes his leave of the game, having had an impact on the game. Well, you don't get too many players of this calibre these days who, who can play on the wing and track back as well. He's got a good work ethic. Striding forward, purposefully. Sebastian Haller. Well, he slipped his man. Lanzini. He is a saviour there. Francis Coquelin. A look at the watch, and that will tell you six minutes to go. Coquelin. Time is ticking away here, and they haven't got too much of it. Good vision. Saved by the keeper, but not decisive. Super goal. What a comeback here. There were two goals adrift. They're not now. It's the kind of goal that forwards love actually because it rewards their ability to follow in their anticipation yeah it ends up being a simple looking goal but it wasn't as you say it was about anticipation the game restarts at 2-2 that will be two added minutes not much time left but just one moment could win it for them. Rice. Well, the 90 minutes has been played now, and the referee calls a halt with the teams definitely still level.